Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, today's date is actually in the Stuart period, but it's regarding a Tudor man. For On This Day in History, the 11th of March, 1609, Tudor poet and lawyer William Warner was buried at the Church of St John the Baptist at Great Amwell in Hertfordshire. Warner's works included Albion's England and Pan His Syrinx or Pipe, compact of seven reeds. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about this Tudor poet. William Warner was born in around 1558 or 1559 in London. Little is known of his background, but we know from his own work that his father accompanied navigator Richard Chancellor on his voyage to Russia in 1553 and that he died while accompanying William Towerson to Guiana in 1577. Nothing is known about Warner's education, but he worked as an attorney in the Court of Common Pleas in London. Warner married Anne Dale, a widow, in October 1599 at Great Amwell in Hertfordshire, and the couple had a son, William, who was born in 1604. Warner published his first work, Pan His Syrinx, or Pipe Compact of Seven Reeds, in 1584, which is described as an episodic prose romance. But his best known work is Albion's England, or Historical Map of the Same Island, which was published in 1586 and was dedicated to Henry Carey, Lord Hunsdon, Queen Elizabeth I's cousin and the son of Mary Boleyn. This work is a long poem in 14 syllable couplets and the first edition told the history of England from the time of Noah to the Norman conquest. It was expanded in later editions to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Warner's biographer Catherine A. Crack describes Albion's England as an eclectic mixture of classical mythology and Christian legend, together with episodes from the English chronicles and theological debate. So quite an interesting work. The vicar of Great Amwell, Warner's local church, recorded that Warner died suddenly in the night in his bed without any former complaint or sickness on Thursday night being the ninth day of March. William Warner was well known and well respected as a poet in his lifetime, being described by Francis Mears as our English Homer, but sadly not many today have heard of him. But I'll give you a link to read Warner's work, Albion's England, for yourself. It is rather interesting, although rather complicated too. Also on this day in history, the 11th of March 1611, poet, diplomat and Member of Parliament, Giles Fletcher the Elder died in London. In last year's video, I shared his wonderful deathbed speech. So do check that out. I'll give you a link in the description for this video. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking just round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.